Hello AACPS staff. In this short video tutorial, we're going to see how to make a shortcut to a file in your Shared With Me in Google Drive. Shortcuts are a great solution to being able to organize files that you don't own. If I create a file, I get to choose the folder that it lives in, and then anytime I want to access that file in the future, I know to navigate into that folder because it's meaningful to me. But when someone else creates a file and shares it with me, it goes to my Shared With Me area here in Google Drive, and because everything by default loads here chronologically. If it was shared with me months ago, it may be hard to find. And now I'm stuck trying to remember the exact name of the file so that I can search for it. That's where shortcuts are a great solution to this. Shortcuts allow me to organize files that I don't own in among my folders in a way that's meaningful to me so that when I need to access that file shared with me by somebody else again in the future, maybe weeks from today, I know exactly where to find it because it's sorted or filed in among my folders. So here I have a document that is owned by my coworker Carrie and it's been shared with me. And I want to put this into my training files folder so that I'll be able to access this the next time we're planning for this type of event. So in order to put it into my folders, I can right click on it and choose organize and then choose this option add to shortcut. Or if I select it, I can go up to my three dots my more actions and I will also find organize and add shortcut. Once I select on the add shortcut, now it's asking me which of your folders do you want to sort this into. The suggested folders are ones that I use frequently, but I can also access my starred. Again, starring your folders is a great way to have the most important ones easily accessible at your fingertips. So I might be trying to put it into one of these. And if it isn't among the suggested or starred, I do have the ability to bring up all of my folders in my Google Drive, including shared drives that I have access to. So I'm going to go back to starred because it is, in fact, my training files that I want to put this in. Now, if I want to put this file in a folder that is nested inside of this, then I would come over to the right hand side and click this arrow in order to open my training files folder navigate inside to locate the specific folder that I want to place it in. So I can click into any number of nested folders that I need to before I find the destination where I want this to go. Once I've located that particular folder, I'm going to select on the add button and that's it. I now have a shortcut to this particular document that the next time I want to access it, I don't have to go to shared with me and swim through that. I can go to my drive, I can go to my training files and then I can go directly to that artificial intelligence folder and this right here is that AI planning document that isn't owned by me, it's owned by someone else, but this little partial swooping arrow indicates that this is a shortcut to this and a simple way for me to get into the document, open it, and if I have editing permission to get to work on anything that I need to change about this.